Welcome back to Awesome News TV and I know most of you guys are upset after the North London defeat but we have some news regarding Paolo Dybala. So before we get into the video I have four things for you guys to do right now. Number one click the subscribe button for more daily videos. Number two make sure you guys turn on the post notification bell so that I send you notifications as soon as I upload. Number three make sure you guys click the like button if you like the video and number four make sure you guys Share this to your Arsenal friends and family so that they know what the most hottest news are at the moment. I know it's been a very um, poor period for us and Arsenal and Arteta, but we have to look at the positives. You have to wait for the January transfer window. Things can happen. And today's transfer target is Paolo de Bola. So we'll get right into the video. <music> So the headline today is Paolo Dybala offered to Manchester United, Arsenal and Chelsea as Juventus star opens door to Premier League transfer. So what the reports are stating is that Juventus star Paolo Dybala is reportedly considering his future in Turin after being offered to a number of Premier League clubs. The 27-year-old who's tied down at the club until 2022 has featured in just six Serie A matches this season. What the further reports are stating is that Dybala, he has failed to register a goal assist in the Italian top flight, has just started six matches in all competitions this term. The old lady are key to tying the Argentine international down to a new deal. However, talks are said to have stalled, leading to a possible move away. And according to 90 Minutes, um, Dybala is now, is now said to be ready to depart Juve, having previously rejected the opportunity to leave in 2019. They claim that the, that the forward has been offered to the Premier League's Big Six by his representatives. Manchester United and City, as well as Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal and Tottenham have be, all been alerted as the possibility of a move for Dybala. However, due to his reluctance to leave the club last year, English slides will only look to sign him should the player himself signal his intentions to go. He has also claimed that Paris Saint-Germain are, key, are keen on prizing Dybala away from Juventus. And it is understood that Real Madrid are also an option for Dybala with Zinedine Zidane a huge admirer. Dybala was um, slammed by the Italian media over the weekend following his performance in the 2-1 win against Torino. According to Tutto Mercato Web, the ex Palmero ace was slow and useless and as he was once again failed to prove his worth to Andrea Perlo. He was given just a 5.5 out of 10 by the news outlet, while La Gazzetta Deo Sport awarded him a shocking 4.5. So this is the reports regarding Juventus and Arsenal target Paolo Dybala. So as we can see, the big six teams have been offered by Juventus to sign um, Paolo Dybala. And we can see that he's on a contract until 2022. So literally next, so, uh, next gen, not the next January transfer window, but the one after he can go to any club on a free. But if you look at his um, current form, he looks like he's not even scored a goal or assist, which is not something Arsenal need at the moment with the lack of goals and um, in the club with so many crosses, with so many um, percent, possession of the ball, we can't seem to score a goal. So with someone like Dybala, who's in bad form at the moment, um, isn't something someone that Arsenal should need at the moment. However, as we all know, Dybala is an extraordinary player. He's been playing in the top league and the, and the top position. He's won so many things at Juventus. But can he really perform it on the big stage in the Premier League, in my opinion? To be honest, Premier League is way better than any other leagues, in my opinion. The, all the teams have a um, huge um, uh, responsibility to try and remain in the league. And anyone is a very difficult opponent at any time. And you don't know what will happen. So, would he be able to manage it at um, a team in Premier League? However, it looks like the big six have all have are having a look in at, at Dybala. And if you look at it right now, the big six are in the top six at the moment. And um, apart from Arsenal, who's in st sitting at 15th position after the loss to Tottenham. So would he actually move to the Arsenal? I think he, there's a possibility he might even move to North London rivals. Um, Tottenham as their top of the league. And also, this has shown um, that his last performance was very shocking and he just doesn't seem to fit into um, Andrea Perlo's system. So for me, do you sign um, Paolo Dybala? If you asked me this a year ago, I probably would have said yes, um, 100%. But now thinking about it with this current form, I don't think we should buy another player that's not on current form. That's good. 
So for me, Paolo Dybala doesn't fit the bill at the moment. We should get the likes of Dominic Subuslai or Hussein. Our he's actually performing at the world. We don't want someone that's edging towards the end of their career. And other than that, remain. But really, to be honest, he is around about 27 years old. He's at his um, best um, point at the moment. But for me, I feel as though there's something dodgy about the Arsenal board, in my opinion. You can see that Arteta did not want the likes of um, uh, Thomas Partey initially. He wanted someone like a Hussip Awa that can be that creative player. But for Arsenal, 45 million pounds is much less than uh, 60 they will be playing for Hussip Awa. So they went with Partey and I feel as though the fans have gone a bit too excited of the deal of, over, um, over Partey. So for me, if it depends on how much his wages are, how much would the cost be, then I'll think about it. But for me, he has to perform on, in the Premier League. If he doesn't perform and he becomes like a Cavani or something, then it's very bad for the team. So other than that, guys, this is my views regarding Paolo Dybala and remain blessed and peace.